And I'm excited to see what Pugh can do in this environment. How does she handle the big stage? Inside press, looking across the national goal. That's Pugh. Who's this kid? I'm like, she's really good. Still Pew. Still Pew. Still Pew. It goes in. This youngster, she cannot be stopped from the Pew. One on one. <laughs> Mallory Pew. This young lady cannot be stopped. When I first got on the national team, I was just there. Like, I was just playing and able to be me on the field. The 17 year old sensation, Mallory Pugh. A symbol, perhaps, of the future. As time went on, I just started putting pressure on myself. Started out real hot, and then, like, had such high expectations. At the end of the day, she was a kid. You win a World Cup, you're on this high, and then, boom, I get injured. And I remember I was like, why is this happening? And I literally was like, I'm not going to get out of this. Obviously, 2020 was a hard year for a ton of people. It was one of the toughest years, but also one of the most fulfilling years that we've had. After January camp, I got a call from Black Co and he was like, you're not going to be on the Olympic qualifying roster. It was crushing. An hour later, I get a phone call and I find out that I'm traded from DC. Those two things happening at the same time, I was so overwhelmed. That was like the first time in my life that I was like, oh my gosh, like, wow. Like it hit me hard. Things kind of relatively had been easy for her in her career just because she was so freaking good and good at a young age. I've never had any adversity or never not made a roster. So I think for the first time she was like experiencing this doubt and it was just kind of creeping into different phases of life. You know, adversity builds character and we all have to go through it at some point. Obviously you want to make every roster, you want to, you know, be called in for everything. But I think in a lot of ways that was probably the best thing that ever happened to her. Not being with the national team allowed me to find like the game again and just allowed me to one I remember like my number one thing was to get healthy so I could physically perform and then two it was just play like just go back and like just play she put her head down she got healthy she went to work she started focusing on a lot of like the little nuances and intricacies that make her now the player that she is the move to the Red Stars was it was great. End of 2020, beginning of 2021, I was like, I want to be in a training environment that is going to push me, that I'm going to feel uncomfortable. And that's what it was. And also like having the pressure off of me because I feel like at a young age, I went on a team and like all eyes were on me. She was allowed to probably for the first time in her career, in her professional career, just be herself. You know, there were no expectations of you have to be the best player on this team. You have to be the one to score every single goal. You've got to carry this team. We had a very talented team. We had a lot of very experienced, talented players around her that we gave her the freedom to just be Mal. Watching her kind of, you almost saw this whole weight get shed from her. And I remember watching her play in, in that first year. This is the Mal I remember seeing even at 16, 17 years old of just playing free. With you, Mallory Pugh! Chicago has been knocking on the door. They finally break it down, and it's 1-0 to the Red Stars. Being able to come to the Red Stars and like actually like just take a step back, I think was probably one of the biggest aspects of how and why I got back to where I am. It was just such a beautiful thing to watch her transform from someone that was very doubtful about things to this strong, confident woman that she is currently. It's Pew. Good dribbling from Pew. Unbelievable for Mallory Pew. She stays red hot. Pew. And her most terrifying Pew. Oh! 
I was finding my groove again. Like I was finding the freedom of just playing and just being able to be me on the field. Like so. Yo, MTV, welcome to my crib. 2017, I was 18. When okay, I feeling, can I, I pause this? Really yeah. Really weird this Whole Foods was probably like, what, like a 10 minute drive from our apartment. Yeah. And Mal wanted to buy rollerblades. <laughs> Mal wanted to buy rollerblades and rollerblade to Whole Foods and then like I don't rollerblade yeah, in my groceries back. The big thing is <laughs> I remember that. That no, was funny. She never did that. Another soccer game, but like that's You're stuck in them like old, but also, I know. It's just gonna I don't know, it's just gonna be weird. <laughs> Oh, wow. that's wild. Okay, that was like kind of cringy, but not as bad as I thought it was cringy. I don't think it was cringy. A little, little bit. I feel like I always admired, you always like handled yourself so well. And I feel like when you're like thrust into that kind of life so young, I feel like you just were so humble and you were so just handled it so well, never got like full of yourself. And I feel like it was just like amazing to watch and you're still the same way. So it's like, I think she hasn't, you've obviously changed, but changed. I feel like yeah. she's always been a very like humble person who handled the spotlight well. And she still does, even though she's like incredible and amazing. And I know. I think not making the Olympics was one of the best things that could happen to my career. It was the adversity that I needed. It was the adversity that really allowed me to like find my game again, allowed me to find kind of myself again. As hard as it was, I'm like so grateful that it happened in the way it happened. Here in a foot race. Each time we were talking before a game, it was it's never good luck. It's always just like, go do your thing. Like, go be you. Go be you, and everything will fall into place. What a year Mallory Pugh is having. That's her seventh goal this year for the U.S. Women's National Team to go along with seven assists. Again, this is a player who was left off the last Olympic roster. That's my girl. I hope that she's been able to take these last four years and put it towards being one of our go-to players. She certainly has the capability and she has the, the drive and the mentality to do that. I hope that she is able to find that success on the field and, and help this team go after another gold medal. Right now, I'm just in this mode of really just taking it everything day by day. So thinking about the World Cup next year, I haven't really even thought about it, but yeah, to go to another World Cup would be amazing.